What is going on guys? Coach Joe here at the Lion's Den and we're here with Brad Arbick, AKA Mr. Neck. All right, look at, look at the freaking, do you know how big your neck is? Uh, tape out at 23 inches. Wow, so that's like custom tailor shirts probably. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't dress up very often. I'll tell you this, if you're gonna try to kill this guy, don't go to strangle him, okay? He has a uh, impenetrable thing around his neck called just a bigger neck. <laughs> uh, so I do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. We're all about having bigger necks. Now, is there any reason why I wanna have a stronger neck like that you just know of or have researched? Well, I mean, being having a, a, a thicker neck, it just gives you like more more stability, especially for something with like jujitsu, right? So when you're when you're wrestling an opponent or you're grappling, sometimes you're using your neck to kind of help balance yourself, or you know that that person's hanging off you. So having a bigger, stronger neck is going to create more stability for you. So they're less likely to exhaust you. Mm -hmm. They're less likely to get that advantage, and you, know, you can be more stable in, in your um, trying to get the advantage on them. And you look scarier. So I would rather mess with someone who had a tiny neck versus someone who has a big neck. So if I'm trying to get my neck bigger, I'm gonna to go to Mr. Neck right here where he's gonna break it down very simple way for you to grow your neck that I'm gonna be throwing in and getting that girth in. So let's get right to it. All right, cool. So uh, working on my neck is something that's been very important to me because I, I am an active duty military member of, I'm in the US Army. And so uh, we work off of height and weight and I don't meet the weight standard. So it, it, I have to hit, get taped which means a t uh, neck tape as well as a waist tape to kind of determine like body fat. So a thick neck for me is very, very important. So it's something that I've worked on for a long time. And so I just want to give you kind of a quick tip uh, that you can use really wherever you are to be able to build up your neck size and strength. And in doing so, all you really need is a band, right? So a band like this, you can order on Amazon. There's a, a million different sources that you can get these resistance bands and the the size of the band will vary obviously depending on how strong you are so if you are you know smaller and a little bit a little bit weaker a less band and if you need more resistance bigger band um, so this is something that you can use kind of uh, immaterial of where you are right you can be in the middle of a desert and still be able to utilize this um, but we'll kind of work with an advantage and then we'll walk it back from there so if you have the advantage of having some equipment to be able to secure the band to uh, all you really need to do is just make a loop, pull the band through so it secures, and it just sits just like so. And and when you have this, basically if you just put it around your, 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 your head, you can just kind of walk it back. The further back you go, the more tension you get. And just kind of turning your head side to side gives you a ton of resistance. And it doesn't seem like much at first, but just a few iterations of like a minute or two, I would I would go off of time versus like number of like turns. So do this for say 30 seconds to a minute, depending on what you can sustain and then rest uh, and then maybe do it again. You can also work more specifically on the side stuff by kind of walking it back and just kind of turn on the side. It can be a little tricky in terms of balancing to make sure it doesn't pop off your head and the band being on your skin can be a little uncomfortable. So if the, the, the rubber on your skin bothers you, you can put a towel or something on your head to kind of protect your skin. Uh, but just setting up different variations in, in different uh, locations can help you kind of get different angles on your neck to work, you know, right side, left side, back, front. Uh, same thing, you know, if you want to work more the front, kind of over the front and just kind of turning. And so that helps work the sternocleidomastoid, uh, build up the neck and so kind of increase the, the neck girth. I have a video on my channel where I took a, a couple of soldiers and a soldier who doesn't train you know, used this technique in two minutes, I put an inch of girth on his neck. So in two minutes of, of doing something like this, able to increase his neck size by a whole inch. And then two minutes for me, I put two inches on my neck. So that's something that if you're a military member, you know, you can do before you go into a heightened weight, uh, be able to increase your neck strength uh, or neck size rather for you know, the advantage of that tape. But then if you're, you know, you're into sport, you're into jujitsu or whatever, you just want to build up, you know, more neck strength and more neck endurance. You know, something like this is really super easy to add and you can do anywhere. Now, to kind of close this off, I guess, if you do not have the advantage of any equipment from which to tie this down, let's imagine that you're standing in the middle of a desert and you really have nothing else around you. You can just simply, you know, hold it. So put that around your neck and same thing, just kind of hold it out and do it like this. It essentially gets the same effect um, and you can continue to work your neck. Um, you can do it with a buddy, you know, whatever. But like, the, the big thing is not being constrained um, by your situation. Sometimes you just have to be a little bit creative and kind of come up with new and unique ways 
uh, to, to do what you need to get done. But that's ultimately what I've done and really the only thing that I've done specifically to build up my neck. We're all about girth here, okay? So, uh, yeah, if you want to get girthy, you're going to listen to my man, Mr. Girth, right now. <laughs> uh, but thank you so much. I'm going to be throwing in these exercises. How, how often do you think I should be doing this during the week? So this is something like, this is something that's super easy. So, you know, if you have the time and the inclination, you could throw in, you know, 30 seconds at the end of every workout. It's not super taxing, so it's not going to take a lot out of you to track from other workouts or other endeavors. Um, and it doesn't take up a whole lot of time where, you know, you're really pressing against the clock. So you could do this, you know, two minutes every single day would be very sustainable. And I'm sure that you would see some, some improvement in your neck size and strength, you know, in, in short order. So anywhere, anywhere between, you know, every day or you know, two, three times a, a week. All right. Well, I'm going to start doing this. Uh, so thank you so much, Brad. Brad, tell everybody where they can find you on uh, the YouTubes and the Instagram. Uh, on Instagram, it's at Brad underscore Arbic. And on YouTube, it's just Brad Arbic. Um, so, you know, I have my own channel, very small, but it's dedicated to little, little things like this to help you get, you know, more betterist. Betterist. Get your girth on. Peace. Peace.